Hi guys, it has been a long time since I've posted something to, to YouTube and I do apologise about that. I know we're doing all the live streams and things, but again, life took a turn. Um, things got a little bit busy, a little bit crazy. You know, we had some problems with haters and things, but that wasn't the main reason. Just life. We've since moved to Whitby. We're now living in Whitby, which is a fantastic place. And we've been developing apps, as, as people know or don't know. I work exclusively with um, Javier Sanz from Spain Paranormal, and we're producing some fantastic apps. And this is kind of going to be what that's about. It's going to be about some free apps as well. Now, two, two years ago, so I made a video about free ghost hunting apps. And the reason I did that was because, at the time, there was a lot of apps available, but they were very expensive. Some of them were cool, but they were very expensive. And some investigators and some individuals can't afford these things. So I was trying to highlight some free apps that I've used and I, and I know work. But things have moved on a lot since then. I do apologise about my voice, but I'm still um, trying to get over this alien freaking cold virus that seems to be holding on to me. So I do apologise for that. But these free apps are the ones we've developed. Um, since those days and um, that was a long time ago two years uh, a lot can change and i just want to highlight the these thing again these are for people who who like i said can't afford some of these apps i mean we do paid apps as well but again we took into consideration people's budget so even the paid apps that we do instead of being 20 and 30 dollars and 10 dollars and, and above the i you know one or two dollars you know what I mean? So we try to keep things sensible as well, even with the paid apps. But these are the free ones. And I'm going to talk about three of them in particular. Two of them are from Javier himself. Um, and you can find them on Spain Paranormal, along with some other fantastic free apps. He's do, done a lot of free apps. And some of his paid apps, he's even turned them over free now for people to enjoy. But these are three that stand out. The first one is the one we worked on together recently. It's just been released. It's brand new. And we think it's kind of unique. And it's thinking a little bit outside the box as you will see now i'll put a screenshot up here best i can um what this one's called is called the emf ghost box and i'm going to try and explain it quickly without rambling too much about the three modes now with two of these apps and especially emf ghost box it's in the name to get the most out of it your device really needs an electromagnetic compass which most modern devices do well even some old ones i mean i've got a couple of old tablets there one's a nexus 2012 2013 edition One's in a really old LG, and they've got fantastic magnetic compasses in them. Me Galaxy S8 here has as well, but I know some people's devices don't, and some cheaper devices don't. But with the Air of Ghost Box, it's got three modes. Mode one is manual mode. Now, if you don't have an electromagnetic compass in your device, you can use that mode freely. You don't need a magnetic compass for that. And the way it works is, like any standard Ghost Box, as you'll see, you've got a slider at the top, slider at the bottom. You've got no sweep rate settings on this one because a lot of the apps, they've got a sweep rate, which determines how fast the banks fire. And, you know, they normally set at about 375 milliseconds up to 1,000 milliseconds. With this one, we wanted, to, we wanted to take control of that and fire them as fast as possible to help rule out any anomalies. Now, as usual, it all uses all reverse audio. There's nothing forwards, and that reverse audio doesn't even have any words in anywhere. But those banks are sweeping at less than 25 milliseconds per sweep, which is incredibly fast. And even if there was a word in there, it cannot stay on a bank long enough to even get a part of a word out. But there aren't any anywhere, but we just wanted to cover all the bases. So you don't have to worry about the sweep rate. The slider at the top controls what's called the trigger. And to put it as simply as possible, what the trigger is for, when the bank fires and then it's going to move on to the next random bank that slider that trigger slider changes the probability of whether that next bank will or will not fire which obviously helps even more to be more random because it's not only firing randomly but then there's a chance that that bank that it's gone to may or may not fire either now it's as simple as if it's all the way to the left the banks will fire 100 percent of the time the further you move the slider along the less probability you're given the bank to fire when it's the, the next bank's turn. So if you say, put it halfway, that's 50-50. So when it's swapping banks, there's a 50-50 chance that it may not fire and just move on to the next bank, which mixes things up. And because that slider, you can put it at any point between like zero and 100, it gives, you, gives it a, a massive amount of randomness as well as the random sort of that the banks are firing in the first place. So that's as simple as it gets. And that's manual mode. You control that. 
Now for those of you who do have a magnetic compassing device, you click the button in the middle and you'll also see in, in if you've got a magnetic compass you'll see the little dial, the little meter. If you don't have a magnetic compass that will be turned off, you will just have the manual mode with a, a, a green LED. If you've got a magnetic compass you will see that dial and that will be active all the time. You can actually use that as an EMF meter. If you go next to something electrical, like you would do with a, a K2 meter, you'll see the needle start jumping, it'll start reacting to the EMF pulse. And what the the neck the EMF trigger is for, if you switch that button in the middle, that take, gives the spirit control over that trigger that you would normally set. Because in EMF trigger mode, the trigger is determined by the reading from the electromagnetic compass, or basically the EMF. And the spirit can manipulate the electromagnetic field around the device and change that trigger itself and that's as basic as that gets you just set it again set it running and again the box will fire all of the time all the battery it'll, it'll just set off and you'll see that slider at the top you didn't matter where you try and slide it it will always go back to whatever the the reading is on for the electro electromagnetic compass or the emf that the device is detecting now the third mode is even more exciting. It's my it's it's my favorite mode. It's called EMF spike mode. EMF spike mode basically turns full control over to the spirit. What you'll do is you put in EMF spike mode and turn it on. The box won't fire, and that is what it's supposed to do. It's not supposed to fire. It will only fire when it gets an electromagnetic pulse to activate it. So the spirit has to manipulate the EMF around the device for the box to even fire in the first place so technically you're turning full control to the ghost box over to the spirit and it kind of like is like an ovalus type of thing so it has to get an, elect an EMF reading to actually trigger the banks to actually fire in the first place and that's kind of cool and to give you an example of how that works when I did it test the other day I walked around with this very device I'm recording on me, me Galaxy S8 Plus Hello is there anyone that can come over to this device and help me test it? If there's any spirits here, just come close to this device I'm holding in my hand. Show me that you're here. Bring your energy. Touch this device. You can control it. You activate it. You may make it work. Let me hear your voice. Can you do that for me? Now the cool thing is, I've walked around this exact same spot before while I was testing this and I actually got a hit just behind me here and as you can see there's nothing there now but it was triggering. But this is the point, it's not supposed to trigger unless it does get a magnetic pulse. Let's go and visit Timmy, our, our haunted doll who's sitting in the bedroom at the moment. We'll see if there's anything around him at the minute because he can give off some really strange activity. Walked around this entire flat and got nothing. It was dead deadline. The box didn't activate. But then I walked into one of the other rooms, which I'd already been in previous. I just thought looped back on myself. And I stood in the middle of the room where there was nothing electrical around us that could interfere with it. And I'd already been round once before anyway and got nothing. Sorry for the shaky camera. I'm doing this by hand. Um, and I got a spike. And it was a considerable spike. The needle jumped up halfway. And the box triggered. And it does make your heart skip especially when you've been walking around for 10 minutes and got nothing and the box triggered and it triggered for several minutes and I got replies I said is there anyone here and I heard yes I'm here and remember there are no words in the banks and the fire at 25 milliseconds and all in reverse and it lasted for a couple of minutes then just went ding 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 and dropped back down and it never came back again I walked away and come back to that spot so that's kind of how that works so just remember, manual, EMF trigger, EMF trigger, the banks will fire all the time, the spirit controls the probability of which, you know, when the, when the banks sweep, whether they fire or not. EMF spike mode is full control over to the spirit. It is a full EMF ghost box. Um, and we're very excited by it. It works beautifully. I've, again, I've got it running on these old tablets, so it's running on old and new. And it, it is working really, really well. Now, we have had some reports again from some people saying it's not wor working on some Samsung devices. We've always had issue with Samsung devices. 
Now it's working beautifully on this Samsung Galaxy S8. One of my friends, Bill, he's running it on a Galaxy S9 and it's running beautifully. So it's kind of a hitty missy thing. So please, I implore people, if it crashes on your device, it is nothing to do with us. There's some weird anomaly going on with Samsung in it and some LGs in their firmware where they're messing about changing stuff that causes issues. But like I say, it does work on the, my, my S8 and it, it's never crashed or never folded. It works beautifully. Now, before I ramble on anymore, the second app I want to talk about is called EMF Meter Pro. He's got an EMF Meter standard, but the Pro version is kind of cool because it looks, as you can see by the screenshot, like a, a proper K2 meter. But it, it and it works exactly the same. It does work, but your device does need an uh, electromagnetic compass to use that feature. It also has an uh, entity hunter thing at the bottom, as you can see, with a little radar with a dot on it. And what that does is that ball moves in the direction of the strongest EMF field that the device is picking up. So it's like a little ghost radar type thing built in. Plus, it's got a mini ghost box. Not as fully featured as, as, as the full ghost boxes we use, but it has a mini ghost box built into it, which is, again, very cool. You don't need an electromagnetic compass for that bit to work, but obviously for all the rest you do, and it's got a flashlight. It's, it's a really cool little app, but again, it's free. Third one is called ITC Box 2. Now, Javier did a, a, an ITC box, the original, but number two, he ramped things up a bit, as you can see by the screenshot. This is three ghost boxes in one. It's got banks here, banks B, bank C. Each one is a full set of banks. So you basically got male, female, and mixed, and it's just, you know, so cool. So cool that, you know, you've got three, three ghost boxes in one, and it's free. Like I said, fully functional. There's no limitations, there's no ads. It won't stop working after so long, and then won't you to pay in any of that crap, which I've had people sort of say <laughs> some of these things. No, it doesn't work like that. These are fully free, fully functional for yours to keep forever. Um, and we just hope you guys enjoy them. And like I said, check Javier's Spain Paranormal. He's got other free apps that you may be interested in, but these are three standout ones. Like I said, we do do some paid ones as well. You can check my Play Store, Brian Holloway, Spain Paranormals. Even the paid ones, I think not very much. And we tried, like I said, to think outside the box a little bit to try and push things forward like we did with Spicoolo and Spicoolo 2, which are voice activated apps as well. So basically you have to ask a question and it, it, it doesn't know what you're asking, but the, 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 the app registers that someone's asking a question, gives you three seconds to answer it, then fires the banks. With Spicoolo 2, we took it a step further. It understands whether it's a male or a female investigator asking a question. Like I say, it doesn't understand what the question is, but it can detect tones, human tones, and it knows if it's male or female, and then fires the banks after you've asked the question in a male or female to match, to correspond. So if a female asks the question, it responds in a female banks. Male asks the question, you get the idea. You know, so we, we try to think a little bit, you know, how to change things up, how to make people do the, the sessions a little bit different. And this is what the Geminis Project is all about. That's what me and Javier are all about. So, but again, again I'm st I'll stop rambling. Go and check these out. They're really cool, totally free. You've got nothing to lose. You install them, you try them. If they don't work for you, then at least you've tried them and all you have to do is uninstall them. All you've wasted is a bit of time, but you're not wasting any money. You don't have to worry about getting refunds. You just uninstall them. So have fun, guys, and let me know down in the comments below if you do use them and what results you get and how you get on with them because we always like to know and I always like feedback.